a bobo. <laughs> All right, so the thing with this word, it's not bobo, because no. that's wrong. <laughs> but that's what I hear her saying it, bobo. Bobo. Brits out there, love you guys, but I go crazy sometimes. Hello and welcome to a new week. We are going into, I think, week seven of isolation quarantine here in New York City. Today is Sunday. We just wrapped up another fun trivia game with some of my family and I'm coming at you now from our kitchen where I'm about to prepare a marinade for the chicken adobo recipe that I'm going to give a try it later on this evening. So the recipe comes from a friend of mine and it's going to make four to six chicken drums or thighs. So for the marinade I'm going to use half a cup of soy sauce, a third of a cup of vinegar, three tablespoons of brown sugar, six cloves of garlic. We don't have cloves, so I'm just gonna improvise with this crushed garlic in a jar. Black pepper. And then the other ingredients are a piece of ginger. I don't have that, that'll be okay. A small onion, we have that, and one red chili pepper. Again, I'm gonna improvise by using a combination of chili powder and some crushed red pepper flakes but I'll go easy on those. I'm just gonna put this together and then we'll leave the chicken marinating for a couple of hours and then we'll come back to the kitchen after that and put it all together. Good thing I realized I've reread the recipe and the marinade itself only calls for three cloves of garlic, not six. The other three are for sauteing. Luckily, I realized that. We have the chicken submerged in the marinade. I'm just gonna wrap that up and put it in the fridge. The recipe that my friend Ying sent me said that it calls for two hours of marination. So I'll probably give it maybe three. It's about four o'clock now. So I think I'll get it out around seven. We tend to eat dinner a little bit later, around eight-ish or so. So I think that will then be enough time to put everything together, cook some rice and do whatever else needs to be done. What are you up to in here? I am setting up all the footage that we shot for the week. Putting it in this lovely little orange box right here. Lovely. So that it's in a nice safe space so that when my lovely wife starts to edit, she it's all in one place. Thank you. And then, yeah, so that's what I'm doing right now. Hmm. And that's what I'm gonna do while the chicken is marinating. I'm gonna do some editing for this week's vlog and then get on with my cooking. So the chicken's been marinating actually about five hours now. <laughs> a long, long time. Yeah, about five hours. You got caught up in editing. I was editing. We also just weren't that hungry. Yeah. So we're having a very late dinner tonight. But it's time to actually cook the chicken. Right. I realise as I approached the kitchen that I may have fluffed up the recipe a little bit and added my onion to the marinade when I was actually supposed to cook with it. It's which is fine. No problem. Nothing wrong with that. We will just adapt and continue. So I will mix in three more tiny teaspoons of my crushed garlic and then I'm just gonna cook the chicken by searing it on both sides. Add in some water, add in the marinade and just let it simmer for about 30 minutes or so. Woo! Okay, have a little bit. So just browned off the garlic ever so slightly and now I'm gonna just very gently lower these chicken thighs into the oil. I turned the heat right down because it's very, very hot. And I'm gonna try and avoid adding as much liquid as I can. Like this. 
Mm-hmm. Smells so yummy. So the reason that I decided to cook chicken adobo was very inspired by my friend Yingyin, as I mentioned. She put up a picture of chicken adobo on her Instagram story and I just thought since John had been doing all the cooking in our house, I would try and cook something that you might like. A little taste of home, if you will. I'm excited. I've never done it before, so we'll see how it turns out. We'll turn in the chicken. It's starting to brown on the underside. You flip it, let it cook for a little bit. Mm -hmm. Now what are you going to do? Since I'm kind of adapting the recipe ever so slightly, since I missed adding the onions to the chicken. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to pour the rest of the marinade that I prepared earlier into the bowl. Okay. And I'm going to add some water and a little bit of bay leaves. One, two, three is good. Three is good. I'm just going to mix that in a little and I'm going to cover it let it sit for about half an hour or so. I'll come back and I'll turn the chicken every so often. John's meanwhile gonna make the rice. Then it will be the moment of truth. Well, just check on the chicken. Ooh, Ooh, that's bubbly. Oh, that looks actually really good. I fear I may have added a little too much water, but it's okay. Mm. We'll make it work. So we had a little bit of unfortunate news or a little bit of a, an unfortunate realization didn't we would you like to share with me what that was <laughs> should i <laughs> i think you should <laughs> all right well i didn't realize we didn't have any rice we're all out of rice we're out of rice and i was like okay we have orzo which is like rice looking pasta but no that's not gonna work <laughs> so we ended up ordering takeout uh, from a turkish restaurant, turkish restaurant <laughs> couple of rices and and lunch for tomorrow so there we go yeah we're gonna make it work because this looks fabulous smells fabulous can't wait to have some <laughs> uh, this should be about 10 minutes i think it'll be ready Sounds good. well it'll probably be ready when the when the rice is ready <laughs> whenever, <laughs> whenever that rice is ain't it too too bad <laughs> <laughs> i've been introducing john to step because that's the music I grew up with and he's like, what is this? So I just did the routine for 5678, which is the UK's answer to country music, or it was in the 90s. And what do you think? <laughs> Sounds very 90s, absolutely. <laughs> what did you think of the routine? But, uh, yeah, 90s style country, at least what I knew of uh, the 90s country. There so, we go. Yeah. Classic. The rice has come, the rice has come. <laughs> so... Because we don't have any rice, we ended up getting rice. <laughs> we got a couple of sauces, pita, which means what does pita mean in English? Pita actually means bread. Pita means bread. So if you say pita bread, you're actually saying bread bread. Yeah. <laughs> rice, another rice. <laughs> We're still listening to steps. Tomorrow's <laughs> lunch right here. All right. Shall I dish up our dinner then? Yes. My mouth was salivating because of that smell of the food just coming into my nose and like I'm hungry now. Ooh. Gotta get some of them sauce in there as well. Oh yes. Alright, we're eating dinner now. Finally at 11.30 in the <laughs> evening. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> it's okay, nothing wrong with that. Right? Like your dinner. Yes, I'm gonna love mine. Thank you, look at that. I think that's a Great looking adobo. Mmm. It's really good. Yeah, well done. Does it taste like adobo? Mm hmm. <laughs> does. Mission accomplished. Mission accomplished. Yay! Okay, lady. I'm gonna sleep very, very <laughs> good tonight. This is such a comforting food, and it takes me home, and it's so good, and I'm, I'm gonna have a happy belly. So happy right now. We'll put the recipe down below if you guys want to try and actually cook this because it's so easy. Um, Big thank you to my friend Ying for providing the recipe I used today. Absolutely. And it's a good recipe, very simple, and you'll definitely enjoy it. Something that you can do, make at home, and be proud of making it. Mm -hmm. This is. Just don't forget the rice. <laughs> Happy 
happy Monday. It's another week. I am making breakfast now. And I figured I'd show you guys what I'm doing. Last week, I made some bolognese. It was like a sausage and beef mix. I'm gonna use that as a base for my breakfast. So it's just that meat base and some poached eggs on top. So I just put them in a little bowl. Heat that up. Then I'm gonna make some poached eggs. I cracked four eggs. Put them in a little cup. You can use a mug if you'd like. I'm gonna have my water go to a simmer. You don't want that rapid boil boiling just because it doesn't get together well. And we're gonna add a little bit of vinegar. It helps the egg whites coagulate quicker so they cook quicker and they kind of come together. So if you've ever poached eggs before, you see all the egg whites kind of just like everywhere. This is gonna prevent that from happening. A little bit. But what I'm also going to do is I'm going to create like a little whirlpool here. I want that thing to spin so that once it's spinning, all of the egg whites kind of wrap around each other. And hopefully, if I do it right, each egg is going to really be clumped together. So it's going to have like that perfect ball shape. I don't do this a lot, so let's see if this one comes out well. I'm gonna let that cook for about a minute to two minutes, but I think it looks good. We'll see. All right, that looks good. Might need a little hot sauce, but for the most part, sounds yummy. I got breakfast for Thank you. Thank you. And that's mine. Time to eat. Yeah. Oh, and just like that, it's dinner time. <laughs> this is all the leftovers from last night when we had to order the rice. <laughs> yeah, so we ordered rice. So we had some chicken, rice, broccoli. I cooked some mushrooms. We have our nice big pita mm, with the hummus. So delicious. good. We're watching some YouTubers. Cara Nate. Cara Nate. Travel vlog. Mm-hmm. I haven't been very present today. I've been editing all day uh, oh, this yeah. week's weekly vlog. So I hope you guys like it. We'll find out exactly how you feel after tomorrow when yes, it goes it up. Yes, it will go up tomorrow. And it's a fun one. I think so. We just had like a little adventure last week and... Yeah, it's know. quite a varied vlog, I think. Yeah. We did lots of different bits and pieces. So, yeah. so I hope you enjoyed it. We're going to enjoy this, watch a bit, and I might do some baking tonight. Oh. Ooh, we stay tuned. We got caught up in watching more of our show, so I never got to do any baking. But I'll have time to do it tomorrow. What I did today though is I just brought out some butter and just leave it out so that tomorrow when I prepare it, I won't have to worry about waiting for it to thaw out. But yeah, that's what I'm gonna do and we're gonna see you tomorrow. Good morning! That was quick! It's having coffee now. Kels is still in bed having coffee as well. We're gonna have a little coffee. We're gonna do a workout this morning. And then Kels has a lot of work to do. I will be baking today. Yes. So let's get started. I hold this camera up. <laughs> I'm heading to Whole Foods real quick to try and grab some little bits that I need to make my baking. I don't know how stocked up Whole Foods here in my area is, but let's go check it out. The wandering soldier returns. How was your trip? It was good. Yeah? Yeah, just a long line waiting. But I got some goodies. What did you get? I got greens because we need more greens. Yay! Have, uh, any healthy meat, stuff. Healthy stuff. <laughs> Bananas. Very I'm nice. Some banana bread. Ooh. So 
I'll eat one or two, but then let the rest ripen. Have you ever had a banana sandwich? Peanut butter and banana. I've been craving banana sandwiches recently. <laughs> two cups of frozen pineapple chunks. Ooh. Exactly two cups for the recipe that we're gonna make dough with. Yeah. Okay. I'll put that back in the freezer. Coming to a video near you okay. soon. And I brought more flour. Oh. And some extract. What else did you get? I can see it on the side there. Oh, we got rice. We finally got some rice. Finally got rice. <laughs> At least now we can have rice with our food without having to order it. <laughs> Time to start baking some foods in a bit. I'm gonna set up all the little things and then you can help me out. off of a work happy hour session. I've been quite work intensive today. I've been working on a little project and chatting with my co-workers. I'm going through a bit of a training session at the moment to give me a little bit more to do. So all being well, that's good news for me. And we've just been doing our cookies, haven't we? Doing some baking. Yes. How do you feel it's gone so far? It looks good, but we'll see how it turns out once it's cooked. We have about seven to 10 minutes before they're ready. John has fear in his eyes because I showed him a picture of what Jack Jack Num Num cookies actually look like in Hollywood like studios. They're like large cookies that kind of look like muffins. <laughs> and he was like, ah, that's not what the recipe looks like. <laughs> yeah. It's gonna be fine. By this point, the video already will be up. So I'll link that in the corner right up there. We are just about to start thinking about dinner. We think tonight we're gonna do one of those meal packets that we picked up from Aldi over the weekend. We were gonna order from Mighty Bowl again today, but we were a bit late, weren't we? So we'll save that for later in the week. So we're gonna do the Thai coconut chicken with some rice. We have rice. Yeah, it's gonna be yummy. The cookies have come out of the oven. So we did one batch in a muffin tray and one batch on a flat tray. Mm. There seems to be a little bit of a discrepancy as to how they came out. Let me see the underside. <laughs> whoa, 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 let me see, let me see. <laughs> It could be the pan. That's an old pan. I don't know. Uh, it could be because our oven might be too hot as well. But it's an old oven. It it's a really old, old oven. oven. So I don't think the thermostat is right. It could be fine. Yeah. But I mean, <laughs> we hot. don't know what video we're making yet, but it could be a Jack Jack Num Num cookie fail. <laughs> or it could be delicious. It could be delicious. Because I'm not being funny, but this batch looks amazing. They look good. Yeah. Is that a little chicken dish? We just defrosted it, chuck it in the microwave. And that's tonight's dinner. Chicken and rice with coconut chili. Curry. Thai curry sauce. Okay. Ah. It's a taste test. <laughs> we did the taste test. And it's really good. But yeah, the top ones in the muffin tin, perfect. Yeah, the ones that are like lighter, they're really, really delicious. Mm -hmm. I said I maybe overdid the almond extract a little bit, but overall, they're really good, aren't they? Mm -hmm. So we are gonna call it a night here, I think. Yeah. I'm personally getting a little tired. Yeah, me too, a little bit too. I'm starting to feel it. Oh, right well, we will see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. You were wondering how we make our bed with the sofa in front of it. This is how. <laughs> yes. Good morning. It is Wednesday today, right? It's it Wednesday. Is Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> Completely okay. lost track of days this week. We had kind of a quiet, lazy morning this morning. We were just sat in bed having coffee and watching some YouTube. And we were talking about our cookies that we made last night. And we think we may reattempt them before putting a video up. Yeah. I was a little sad about how it came out yesterday. So I'm going to redo it again. This time I'm going to make giant cookies instead of tiny ones. So. We'll see how those come out. We were also talking about some other things that we might film over the next couple of days, actually. So we are going to go out, I think, in a little bit and get some other bits and pieces for other recipes and other videos that we plan to shoot. One of them, in fact, is going to be a Disney Cruise Line towel animal video. And that'll be a lesson as much as a tutorial for us, I'm sure. So watch this space. We will have some fun videos coming your way very soon. What are you doing? I have all my like baking things here. Oh. This is where I store a lot of my cooking stuff. That... 
tiny house problems. <laughs> All right, we're about to head out. We're gonna go grab some more stock in our pantry. A few things that we need for baking. I need to get some parchment paper. Kelsey wants to create some kind of a... Rice Krispie treat. Rice Krispie treat. So we'll grab the stuff for that. And a few other little things. Just a quick run before, you know, it gets packed everywhere else. Our kitchen bar needs to be stocked up. Yeah, that is something that we need to do at least once every other week as well. <laughs> so it's two different shopping sprees when it comes to stocking up our pantry and bar. The bar. <laughs> Thank you to Elizabeth Boyd who gave John the pro tip of shaving foam on his glasses to stop them from getting fogged up with the mask. Hey. <laughs> That's a look. I wonder why this works. I have no idea. We'll let you know how that works when we get outside. Glasses are off. <laughs> uh, it didn't work. I guess it's just one of those. I breathe really deeply so I think it just really doesn't help the situation no matter what's gonna get fogged up so we'll figure something out so we're in the store this is the third store we've been in because I'm trying to get marshmallows to make rice krispie treats do they have any we'll see haha <laughs> mini marshmallows got my marshmallows so we're about all stocked up for all the bits and pieces we needed food wise so now on to the liquor store Okay, we got what we needed. And actually we didn't tell you, the reason we needed Campari is because after I'd made those Negronis the other night, we had an accident, didn't we? I kind of took the bar cart and it fell and I broke it. The whole bottle all over our kitchen floor. So, makes me sad. <laughs> John was so upset, but alas, we've replaced it now. So onwards and upwards. It's like a Marvel van. That's cool. The puppy store and groomers is open. It's definitely more open today and definitely busier. Yeah. I guess that's a good thing. So John just delivered the goods. A banana sandwich for lunch. I've not had one of these in years and I'm so excited. There's apparently this Buzzfeed in-depth personality test will reveal what Disney character we are with 100% accuracy. 100% accuracy. Mm, we'll put oh. that to the test. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Organized or messy? Messy. Messy. More than that, do you think? <laughs> no, let's leave it there. <laughs> Flexible or stubborn? Oh, oh, what's your answer? Oh, oh look at that. I'm oh. sure you have no problem agreeing with that. Oh, not at all. Flynn Rider? You're Flynn Rider! You like to hide behind your wit and charming personality, but you're really a big softy. You're a very independent person who has big dreams and will do whatever it takes to make them a reality, even if that means causing a little trouble along the way. Oh, amazing. Am I laid back or serious? Definitely laid back. Are you young at heart or an old fart? <laughs> Easy. Are you... Patient or impatient? I'm definitely patient with you. <laughs> Rude. <laughs> I think I'm patient. You are very patient. You actually have the patience of a saint. Are you more organized or messy? <laughs> Opposites attract. <laughs> very organized. Are you flexible or stubborn? You're stubborn too. Am I? A little. Maybe not as much as me. Not as much as you. <laughs> okay then. Are you a dreamer or a realist? <laughs> oh my gosh, the biggest dreamer I know. Big dreamer. Am I selfless or self-focused? Very selfless. <laughs> if you can't tell, John's the good one in this relationship. <laughs> Pumba! A hundred percent accuracy. <laughs> You're just like Pumba from The Lion King. You're incredibly lovable and the best friend a person could ever ask for. You're a jokester who doesn't take themselves too seriously and is always down to laugh. You're a big heart and everyone loves you. Oh. Well. Pumba! <laughs> yup, yup, yup. This is happening. We're shooting a Disney Cruise Line themed video that will be coming your way soon. I'm a pirate. So we filmed our little towel animal video. That was really fun, wasn't it? <laughs> it was so much fun. <laughs> so 
the such a good fight. monkey that we did. It seemed really complicated, but it was actually quite simple, wasn't yeah. it, in the end? Yeah, if you look at it, it'd be like, how? You know? We couldn't you... figure it out. No, and then when we looked at the diagram, it's like, oh my gosh, so easy. Well done. It was fun. That was fun. Thank you for preparing that. That was Absolutely. good. That was a good time. Now we may go spend a little bit of time in the kitchen, work on some more recipes, and we will take you guys with us. Oh, what are you making, lady? Welcome to my bar. <laughs> I'm making you a Negroni. A Negroni, yay! Mm -hmm. A proper Negroni this time. Yes, exactly the same as what I did last week, except instead of china, we have Campari this the time for a proper Negroni. Yes. And I've also put ice into my mixer this time. So I'm just giving it a stir and then I'm going to strain it into the glass on top of one of these whiskey cubes. Wow, I remember that color. Does that look better than the last one? It does look better than the last and one. And it should be chilled as well because, you know, ice. Ooh, it's got a little kick to it. Here, you try. You can taste the vermouth in that one, but it's really good. And what was it again? Same recipe, same ratio? Same recipe, one ounce gin, vermouth, and Campari. Oh, it's really good. Thank you. You are welcome. I'm really love that. And for me, we're going to be making a dirty martini. Ooh. Dirty vodka martini, which is my personal preference. So, I'm going to be mixing about two and a splash ounces of vodka into, again, an iced mixer. There's ice in this little mixer here. Mm -hmm. Two, <laughs> two in a bloop. Vermouth, half an ounce. And then, because I like my martinis dirty, with a bit of an olive situation going on, I'm going to mix in about half an ounce of olive brine. Maybe a little bit less than half in there. Just going to mix that in with the rest of the spirits. Just the same as we did with the Negroni, little spoon, give it a stir. Unlike James Bond, we make these stirred. Then strainer again. And then, because no dirty martini is complete without olives. Fishing for olives. <laughs> it's, like, it's like catching fish. I knew that was going to be the one. Gonna rest that there. We have a dirty martini. Ooh, very nice. Cheers, lady. Cheers. That's a good one. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Well done. I like these because they're nice and savory. Mm -hmm. I like sweet drinks too, but sometimes you just fancy something a bit different. And for me, I'm gonna attempt this cookie recipe again. Hopefully, it comes out this time. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what? The cookies that we made yesterday was so good. You know, light, slightly uh, burnt, but I can't really make a tutorial <laughs> when it comes out like that. So I'm gonna do giant ones this time. I bought some parchment paper, and hopefully it doesn't burn as well. So we'll yeah. see. Probably lower down the temperature just a tad bit because this older oven is also heat itself. I think it uh, is higher than normal. I agree. So. Yeah, it does tend to get quite hot. hot. Yeah, so. <laughs> But we were inspired by some other recipes on YouTube this morning, weren't we? Oh, yeah. And yeah. Life by Francesco, we saw your yeah. tip tree Hilton cookies. <laughs> <laughs> Those were really yummy as well. So, you know what? I'm going to attempt another baking. And he had parchment paper. So, putting the prep together and then you'll come back to my kitchen in a few minutes. So, John's in the kitchen prepping his ingredients for the cookies. We already started making the brown butter portion. And he goes to me, oh... I didn't even use baking soda yesterday. <laughs> so that could have been another reason the cookies turned out the way that they did is we were missing one crucial ingredient. So it's boding well for this evening's cookies. In other news, I was just scrolling through Instagram and Britney Spears is on there showing how she's working out and let everybody know that she burned down her gym literally burned it down. Apparently she left some candles aflame. So that's today's update. <laughs> she burned down. She literally burned down her gym. Oh, Brittany. So real talk. I'm pretty sure the thing I like most about these martinis is that they're served with olives. I love olives. 
I know they're kind of a controversial food choice, but do you like olives? Black, green? Let me know, I'm curious to know what the divide is. I love them. Do you like olives? Yeah. All kinds of olives? All kinds. I always thought black was the superior olive, and then when I started drinking martinis, I changed my mind. <laughs> I'm full of interesting dialogue today. <laughs> so, seven o'clock, it's time to applaud the healthcare workers. We do this every day. And someone started playing electric guitar. I'm gonna open the window and hope that you can hear it. Do you hear them banging on their saucepans and there's an electric guitar? People are beeping their cars. <laughs> That's awesome. I would love to see where the guitarist is. It's the same guy he practices at this wherever he's playing. He practices every day. Usually it's a hindrance, but today yeah. it's the quite windows, enjoyable. Yeah, the windows are open and they're just playing loud. I've always felt like it could be in our basement, to be honest. I always thought it was, but yeah. it's not. Yeah. It's definitely in the basement of somewhere local. So, yeah. Woo! And that's it. 702, it bases out. Yeah. Cookie update, night number two. The cookies are huge. <laughs> John had to replace the blender because it all just was a lot for our blender, I guess. But I'll insert a clip here of what the dough looks like. It looks so delicious. And I cannot wait to get stuck into one of those later on tonight. So we're just starting to think about dinner. It's coming up to eight o'clock now. We think we might just pop a frozen pizza or something in the oven, something quick, something easy. And then the cookies have just gone into the freezer for an hour. So we're just letting them proof. Is proof the right word? No, we're just freezing them. <laughs> we're just freezing the dough. Then we'll be back to baking them in about an hour or so. So the cookies are now in the oven. We had a nice dinner. It was like a light dinner. We are saving ourselves for dessert for sure. And we're excited to try these cookies when they come out of the oven. How are they looking? They're looking good. I think it's going to take longer than normal because of the size. Because they're thick. Yes. Mm -hmm. They're very thick. So we may need to leave them in for a few more minutes. Mm -hmm. But we will give you a little sneak peek of how they turn out once they're out of the oven and have cooled. How's it looking? Did you look at it? Oh my. <laughs> Look at these! Compared to the one from yesterday, it's a bit bigger, took a little longer, but I'm happy with it. Are you excited? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, we will leave the full video in the description and in the corner, so long as they turn out okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm sure they turn out fine. Oh my god, make these cookies. <laughs> They're really good today. Success! Mm -hmm. Clutching. Yes. Oh, so good. Mm. <laughs> so we're enjoying Lost. Mm -hmm. um, we're episode 11 now. Been watching the last hour or so. Been relaxing. Today was a good day. Very productive. Yeah. So shot two videos. We shot two different videos outside of the weekly vlogs. Mm -hmm. We did our drink shopping, mm -hmm. cleaned up a bit, and just had a pretty chill day. Tomorrow's another rainy day, so yeah. we'll be in the whole day. We'll try and get a workout in sometime in the morning. I think that's the plan. And get some editing done. Yeah. And so hopefully we'll have one of the videos by Friday this week. How the animals cookies. or the cookies, depending on what looks good. But anyway, we're going to enjoy the rest of our evening. And we'll see you guys tomorrow. Good night. Good morning, it is a Thursday. I didn't sleep too well last night. I've been awake since about four o'clock. <laughs> it's now about six and I just couldn't fall back to sleep. I'm 100% certain I'm not the only one that's going through this right now. But I keep waking up having had the most crazy, like vivid dreams. So I left it till about six. I thought it's about time to get up, grab a cup of tea and just hang out. So 
it's about that time we're gonna make some breakfast for this morning john's now up hello <laughs> so we're just gonna make some simple eggs with bagel i think this morning so while john's cooking the eggs i'm just gonna toast these bagels really quick i'm gonna use the air fryer and somebody said they didn't know you could cook bread in the air fryer in case you haven't gathered by now we put pretty much everything in the air fryer it's our favorite thing and as far as bread is concerned it gives the most crunchy perfectly toasted bread ever so if you have one definitely give that a try breakfast time breakfast time breakfast time lady <laughs> or brunch time <laughs> yeah late breakfast thank you so she's been working hard all morning and day she's getting tired and i asked her she's gonna have a kip on the bed later no kip for me no kip for you and we've been talking about different british slangs or wordings britishisms <laughs> And what's my favorite Britishisms? Kip. Oh, what is it? Kip. Gander. Tut. Actually, is tut a thing? Yeah, yeah. Like when you were talking about rubbish. Rubbish. Or tat. Is yeah. Tat? Tut or tat. If you went on a holiday or went on a vacation <laughs> and you bought like random trinkets, that is like tut. <laughs> you don't need it. It's not going to make your life any better. It's just random stuff. Right? <laughs> And what do you call someone if they're being dumb? Uh, if they're being dumb, they're stupid. <laughs> so stupid when I, I do like uh, dad jokes. She'll say, you're so stupid. I love that. What do you put on your Christmas tree? A bobo. <laughs> Alright, so the thing with this word, it's our ornaments, right? And they call it a ball ball. Is that right? Yeah. At least that's how I have to say ball twice because I can't pronounce it the way she would pronounce it which is bobo what bobo it's not bobo no cuz that's wrong <laughs> but that's what i hear her saying it bobo bobo it's it's bobble no but it's not bobble it's bobble is what's on top of a hat a bobble is on top of a hat like a bobble hat uh, a bobble okay but it's b a u b l e right yeah yeah it's that's how you spell it b a u b l e but it's pronounced ball ball. Ball ball. <laughs> not bobo, not bobble. Bobo. Bo. <laughs> and, <laughs> and it's, uh, it's a bobo. <laughs> oh, what was the one but it's not an ornament. No, no, no. You can't call things on trees ornaments. We're talking about the round ones. Um, anything else that's not a bobo. Decoration. It's a Christmas decoration. And what did we have an argument about the other day? A basket. Oh, um, she was asking me for... Uh, Let's put some things in that basket. Oh yeah, but she's like, put something in that basket. I'm like, what's a basket? <laughs> uh, what basket? We don't have a basket. What, what's a basket? It's like, basket. I'm like, basket is what she was saying. So, <laughs> so this is our conversation every now and then yeah we tell them about the fancy dress fiasco already oh yeah so the fancy dress and, and they have the slangs uh, they have cockney slangs that don't even get me started with that <laughs> brits out there love you guys but i go crazy sometimes <laughs> <laughs> all right cookies are here we've had a few of these already four left oh, these are so good and huge this lasts us about Another three days and then I'll have to make some more. Time to make Kelsey a drink. Her go-to drink is the gin and tonic and I'll show you how I do it. <laughs> Thank you. Enjoy, lady. Mighty bowl again. again. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I think this will be the last for a while, but we thought, why not? And I just wanted to show you our little wine glasses. 
that we got when we got engaged from John's brother and sister-in-law. Yeah. Aren't they cute? And then John's is obviously Mickey Mouse. I already filled his up, but yeah, yeah. you get the gist. Aren't they cute? Yeah. So I had a couple of meetings this morning, but then this afternoon I've been editing a video to go up for tomorrow, which is our Jack Jack Num Nums cookie recipe. We decided to put that up this week. We announced over on our YouTube channel today that we are formally moving to a two day a week schedule for the foreseeable future. So the plan is from now on we'll be releasing our weekly vlogs, these types of videos on Mondays. And then we will release something different, maybe something Disney themed, a recipe, or just something completely random on a Friday. So that's the plan from here on out. So if you haven't already hit that subscribe button, please do hit the bell icon to be notified whenever we do release a video. And thank you guys for making it with us so far. Here's tonight's dinner. I went for exactly the same, the Penang bowl, which is the Thai-esque type rice bowl. What's yours today? I got the sole, which is ah. Korean. Oh yes, so some kimchi some and stuff on there. Kimchi, beef, uh, steak, and it's supposed to be really spicy. Ooh. We're just watching Lost, as per usual. Mm -hmm. It was cool to know that a few of you watch Lost or have watched Lost. Yeah. We are almost done with this. We're right at the end of season five. Which means one more season to go. Uh-huh. I'm going to need you guys to start listing what shows we need to watch next. next yeah. we, we need something really binge-worthy, mm -hmm. like, marathon show, a bit like Lost. Oh yeah, I'm gonna miss this show. Mm -hmm. it's, it's one of those things that I never thought I'd watch, but... Yeah, I don't know if, I'd, if we said it on the video, mm -hmm. but it's my second time watching it all the way through. But you're first. It is my first, so... Mm -hmm. Well, that's it for Thursday night. Did uh, you hear that? Yeah. The weather is crazy it right is. now. It is. Lots of wind and... You can just hear the trees kind of swaying back and forth mm -hmm. and it's going to be like that all day again tomorrow, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. But it's nice and bright and sunny on Saturday, so maybe get some outdoor fun on Saturday, we'll yeah, see. Yeah, we're going to try and venture out on Saturday. Mm -hmm. For now, Friday night is done, or Thursday night is Thursday. done. Thursday. <laughs> yeah. I don't know the days. Either. I'm starting to get tired. I'm going to try and sleep in past sunrise tomorrow. <laughs> That's a good thing. Oh, I had some company. Yes. <laughs> but for now, we'll see you tomorrow. See ya. Good night. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you. Coffee time. Happy Friday. Uh, it's not happy. It's, <laughs> it's yucky Friday. Another drizzly, rainy day in the beautiful city of New York. It's okay. We're going to have our coffee. Every good morning starts with a good cup of coffee. And then let's do a workout this morning. Absolutely. Okay, let's do it. So we're going to do another 305 fitness workout this morning. Get those endorphins flowing. We're actually meant to be on a plane to Orlando right now. It's fine. I'm just going <laughs> to get some endorphins and feel good about this day. Oh, and if anyone realizes that John and I are dressed practically identically today, it wasn't intentional, I promise. <laughs> How was that? That was fun. Very good, very good. I'm a sweat. tomato. <laughs> I'm a literal tomato. That was awesome. Was that was good. another was low impact 305 mm -hmm. workout. Good sweat, good stretch. Mm hmm. I love it. <sighs> Yay! Oh, it felt so good. Will you come to classes with me now? Probably not. <laughs> but I, I tried, it. I tried. Yeah. Not my thing when it comes to working out, but definitely had a good time doing it here with you. So I definitely do it at home with you. and. I may give you one time to just go and enjoy it. Yeah. I need to put this camera down because my arm is shaking. <laughs> <laughs> so I've just had a nice fresh hot shower all cleaned up for the day. Kelsey's in there right now so I'm gonna make us a salad for lunch and I'll show you how I do it. Leftover chicken. I'm gonna make croutons, and guess what I'm gonna use to cook these? 
<laughs> air fryer. First, I'm gonna top these up. It's a cranberry cheddar. little cubes carrots had some leftover sunflower seeds and some raisins croutons are ready do that one last chicken's ready Got every ingredient here, minus the chicken and our croutons. I don't really like to put the croutons in with the rest of the salad when I'm dressing. I want this to be nice and crunchy and not soggy. I'm gonna use a balsamic dressing. So, chicken goes in. So, make sure your hands are clean. We're gonna actually toss this with our fingers. And we have our salad. Lunch time. Thank you. You're very welcome. Enjoy it. it. Smells great. Mm -hmm. Are these homemade croutons? What do you think? Air fryer? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We've had so many comments like, oh, John should get a sponsorship. <laughs> air fryer. I'm going to start selling air fryers now. <laughs> So I'm gonna go and attempt to find some quarters. We do need to do laundry and we're out of quarters. So a few days ago when we did our run for drinks, I saw a bank open and I'm hoping that the other banks are open now and maybe I can get some quarters in. Crossing fingers. Got the quarters. I got more than this but just showing you. They were open, just had to do like two at a time to get in. Took a little bit, but not too long. So today is laundry day. Woo! I'm back and it's time for laundry. This is gonna be fun. <laughs> a lot of laundry. Hi lady. Hello. What you making? Making up some cocktails for this evening. Uh -huh. I won't bore you with making another martini because we already did that this week. But I'm going to attempt an old fashioned Ooh. for John, which I've never done before. So I found a recipe on the New York Times and it says to muddle a sugar cube and bitters with one bar spoon of water as the first step. I'm going to use a teaspoon of brown sugar uh -huh. as we don't have sugar cubes. But we do have bitters and of course water. One teaspoon. Now I meant to use two dashes of bitters. One, two. And that'll do. Yeah. And then we're gonna get a bar spoon of water. Bar spoon of water. <laughs> <laughs> Switch spoons. It's a tiny little muddler. There you go. It won't take much because no. It's so regular not. sugar. And because we're not using a sugar cube. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm gonna add a large whiskey ice cube. So ideally, I would have added the ice in after the whiskey, I just realized, but never hmm. mind. It's okay. It all goes down the same way. Right? Exactly. And then our whiskey of choice. Very nice. And I'm just gonna give it a stir. Yeah, look at that. That's amazing. Sadly, no orange peel no either. No orange peel, but it's okay. <laughs> yes. Yeah? Oh, I'll definitely have this more. <laughs> yeah, I like it. So we have pork carnitas for dinner tonight. Bit of lime on the side. Thank you for this, it looks mm -hmm. delicious. Welcome, the salsa, thinly sliced cheddar cheese. Lovely. And then we're gonna finish the next two 
episodes of our show. It's been a very quiet afternoon. We've both said we've been feeling so tired today. I slept fine last night. I got a pretty solid eight hours, but I don't know, end of the week and all that. We're just feeling a little bit sleepy and reserved and quiet. So mm -hmm. I've been editing for the last couple of hours. John's been working on some website stuff. So we're just gonna have a chill night and relax. Good morning there. It's Saturday. Today is such a beautiful day. Clear blue skies, the birds are chirping, not a cloud in the sky. <laughs> My lovely wife folding the laundry. What could be much better? Just kidding. Got up, uh, started doing some cleaning. Had to clean up the kitchen, so I was doing that. Kelsey's been folding. We've just yeah. been tidying up, really. Definitely a, a difference in our regular laundry. It's all pajamas, loungewear, t-shirts, and that is it. We've got like three items that need to be hung up, and that's all. <laughs> It was good to have that laundry taken care of because we were kind of running low on clothes. So we were up quite early today so that knock some of these chores that we need to get done. And hopefully we can take advantage of this beautiful weather today and have just a nice walk around. Just a good stroll to get some fresh air and get a little bit of movement in our legs. You know what's funny yesterday? I was trying to beat the light to cross the street to go to the bank yesterday. My legs just felt so weird. It's as if like I never ran. Like they don't belong to your body, right? Yeah, it's yeah. like you never ran before. It's just a weird feeling. It's <laughs> funny. So let's get this finished and then take you along with us outside. So we have a nice, clean, tidy apartment. I'm documenting this just to keep us accountable over the next couple of weeks. <laughs> Kels is putting on her mask. Something about the sunshine, it was very motivating this morning. Yeah, so sunshine motivates us to clean. <laughs> we need more of sunshine. <laughs> mm -hmm. Gonna go have a little walk and just enjoy the day, the sun, the blue skies, because if you've seen lately, the last two, three weeks, the weather wasn't all that great. Mm -mm. So we're gonna take advantage of it, get some fresh air, and then I might go swing by a little shop to get some plants, some fake plants. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna decorate the kitchen a little bit and Kelsey wants to get some plants. Yeah. So we're definitely gonna go and get that. We'll take you along with us, let's go. a whole lot because we were just enjoying our walk for the most part. Mm -hmm. Did you have a nice walk? Yeah, it's nice. It's hard to enjoy the fresh air with that mask. Mm. I know it's one of those things that you need to have it, but it and you nice were in too. the minority then because there were so many people. I mean, everyone had the same idea, which we expected. It's a lovely day, so everyone was out enjoying the sunshine. But people were sat in the park, reading, having picnics. No one was wearing a mask. Like, it was kind of scary. Oh, there were, there there were, were people. There and were there as were, many. There were just too many people very close to each other that I don't yeah. think that should have been the case. But It just makes you realize that social distancing is really not feasible in a city yeah. like this. Because no, you are shoulder to shoulder with other yeah. people. Yeah, so, I don't know. But anyway, we did a long walk. We were out for a couple of hours and just got home just now. Quick change. And I want to show you something that I picked up in Dwayne Reed on the way back. So it's a little craft and it's hanging planters, which I'll probably hang up on the kitchen wall. So in here is fake succulents, string, acrylic paints, paintbrush, some air dry clay for the pots and a guide. So I'm going to try this out at some point and see if I can make some nice looking planters. Ooh, I 
it's time for a nice beverage. <laughs> Welcome back to my bar. We're <laughs> about to have some lunch and I thought I'd mix us a nice summery cocktail to enjoy out on our fire escape. I'm going to make us some Aperol spritz today. Yeah. We've got three ingredients. Prosecco, Aperol, which is very similar to Campari, but just more orangey, and some club soda. And for the kind of drink, you want a three, two, one ratio. And we're just gonna make the drink inside the glass. For my first time, I think that's pretty good. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Very good. Cheers. It's a little balcony. Just sat. Enjoying some fresh air. Well, it's so nice now. Huh? I'm grateful we have this space actually. I know we're not technically supposed to be out here. But we just put a yoga mat down. We've done it a few times, but it's nice to just have to sit outside and yeah. Have fresh be able air. to enjoy it and breathe <laughs> without a mask on. Yeah. So we hear the bird again. Where? There he is. Where? There he is. <laughs> so it's now coming up to about six o'clock. Honestly, these days are going quicker and quicker. We have just come off of the fire escape. Well, I did. John took a little nap inside. That I was just hanging out, enjoying the sunshine. I FaceTimed my mom and my sister for a little bit. Was catching up with them and just hearing what they've been up to. John's now in the kitchen. Are you recreating my creation? Yeah, so my wifey, <laughs> she taught me how to create an Aperol spritz. Mm -hmm. So, I'm going to attempt to make one. I'd say it's been a fairly productive day so far. I mean, about as productive as it gets these days. But it's nice to have a clean and tidy apartment. And it feels good knowing that we got outside, enjoyed some fresh air and got some steps in today. I wonder how many we did. Let's see on my health app. What's your guess? How many steps do you think we did today? We did about 9,700. 9,700? It's very specific. <gasps> no way! Oh wait, wrong date. <laughs> it's not November 2019. We've done 7,500 so far. 7, but that was just on our walk when I had my phone. We were moving around the apartment today as well, so... Not too bad for a day in lockdown. We did apparently two and a half miles on our little walk earlier. So, yay for us. Thank you. So, good morning. It's Sunday now, and we normally would end our vlog on Saturday, but yesterday was kind of a tired one. Mm. Yeah, we fell asleep quite early. We just watched our show, to be honest with you. Someone was falling asleep in the couch. <laughs> <laughs> Story of my life. Yeah. <laughs> so since we didn't close out yesterday, we will bid you adieu for this week's vlog. It was a fun week. Uh, a lot of little things here and there, but what's the most memorable part of your week? Um, baking cookies. Oh, baking cookies. Baking yeah. cookies. Twice. <laughs> Twice. I think that was it. That was the highlight of our week, I think. It's really hard to was find- Wasn't my chicken adobo. Was your chicken adobo this week? <laughs> your chicken adobo was, was last week. No, it was, oh, it was on Sunday. Sunday. No, it was. It was really good. <laughs> but the cookies, I think, are better. Than <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Ah! Anyway, uh, that's it for the week. We will see you guys next week. I think this coming week we will be working on a few things. The towel video should be up this coming week. Yeah. Um, on you Friday. You saw a little bit of that. We want to do Dole Whip and Kelsey has a chance to make some Mickey Rice Krispie bars. So we're gonna do some Rice Krispie stuff. Mm -hmm. No, and we're not gonna do any big shopping this week. No. Nope. We're still good on that. But we're about to try a live bingo game with oh, my family, so we'll let you know how that goes. Absolutely. And then I've got my plant craft to do at some point as well. Yeah. And just stay tuned. Subscribe if you haven't already to keep up with what we're up to. And until next week, 
we'll see you real soon yeah, and one thing before I say goodbye, we have been working on the website as well. Mm -hmm. So if there's anything that we do here or crafts, we can post it on that website just so that we can give you more information about the things we do without having to say it in the blogs. But yeah, check it out at nevergrowingup.com. And that's about it. We will see you guys next week. See you then. Bye. 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 <laughs>